Hello guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video on the channel today I'm back with another pro class build in FIFA 21 today is going to be the centre back build guys in this video I'm going to be telling you the best build to maximise your rating maximise your stats used by many v VFL players VPG players guys so make sure you listen out without further ado let's get into the height and weight. 6 foot 2 and 149 pounds is the height and weight you guys are want to be. This is because you're light, which means you're very fast and you're good at accelerating. Um, so you're going to get a slight edge over your strikers or their strikers. You're also pretty tall, so you can win them headers. You can be in that box at the corner and all of that, guys. So make sure you're 6 foot 2 and 149 pounds. So you can also change it in the other menu. Now let's head into the traits. So starting off with the physical guys, we are going to be on this one here, the jumping, and this is going to be the second one from the bottom on the right hand side of this left column. On the other side guys, you want to be pretty maxed out ap um, apart from the lung capacity or the second wind, so you're going to want to be on the physical focus here. Now the defending is pretty simple guys, you're simply going to want to upgrade it to max because you are a centre back, you're useless up front, your job is to defend. So if you're good at defending you are going to be a brick wall at that back line making it as difficult as you can for their strikers to get past you. Dribbling now again guys, this is not very important, what we're going to do is upgrade our agility to 3, our balance to 3 so here and here and also on this one you're going to upgrade the ball control focus, the ball control, and the dribbling guys. So it has a T size shape or T shape here. So you can upgrade these three, these two, these three, these three guys. Very, very simple there. I definitely recommend upgrading them because you still want to have some good dribbling. You still want to be pretty composed at the back, basically distributing the ball as best as you can. Now guys, being a centre half, you have to be pretty decent at passing, playing them long balls over the top to your strikers or their wingers. So, what you're going to do is upgrade all your passing down to here, the passing focus. Do not worry about the swerve pass because you are a centre back. You're not whipping in crosses from the wings. On the right column though, just do not upgrade any of this because again, you're not a winger. You don't need to cross in the ball. You're simply there to play them balls over the top or distribute the ball to the sentiments or CDM. Next up guys with the shooting and now you are a centre half, you are tall so you do want to make the most of your head. So, what I recommend doing is upgrading to here. This is definitely the way to go with your shooting. You can also upgrade this one if you want, your volleys, but only focus or focus on the middle column here because you're not a striker. You do not need that much shot power. You are literally there in the box of the crosses, which will come from free kicks, corners, whatever. You are there to head the ball in and make the most of the corner or free kick. Now with the pace guys, what I recommend doing is literally upgrading it to full. I do not have enough skill points to do so, but definitely try and upgrade your pace to full because you do want to be Again, with their strikers or their wingers or their cam running in behind you, you do want to keep up with them and you do want to get a tackle in. As always guys, do not worry about goalkeeping if you're not a goalkeeper. So that is going to be the traits for you and the centre back build with the height and weight. If you did like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Turn that subscribe button grey, that would really help out the channel. Thank you guys for watching, have a great day, have a great week and goodbye.